Hi guys, welcome back. Meron tayong budget gaming phone and this is the Realme Narzo 30A. This one, color blue box. So guys, as advertised, this is a gaming phone from Realme. And yung color na kinuha ko is color laser blue. And they also have another color which is laser black. This is 4GB of ROM and 64GB of internal memory and this is expandable. So I'm looking forward for its game performance and of course overall performance of this phone but again particularly for the game of this phone because this is marketed as budget gaming phone. Before we continue, the next tip is my unboxing. I unboxed this phone earlier. So ito yung box. Bagong packaging, color blue. Used to be yellow, di ba? Yellow orange. May pagka orange. Narzo. 30A. Ito yung likod. And then, the only yellow part na natira is ito. Realme. So, sa likod, nakasulat 6,000 mAh battery. 18 watt quick charge. Helio G85 gaming processor, 16.5 cm or 6.5 inches mini drop full screen, and 30 megapixel AI dual camera. So ang color nito is laser blue. Open na natin. Laser blue color, ha? Kasi color ba ng box? light natin then plastic small box ito yung sim ejector pin the phone the phone Inside is the charger and the cable. Wala nang iba inside. And wala rin siyang jelly case, free jelly case. Sayang, paborito ko naman pag mayroong free jelly case. Kasi usually yung phone ko, sinusuot ko sa maong ko. Eh di ba yung maong natin, hindi soft yung fabric niya. So, mas prefer ko kung may free jelly case. Anyway, here's the phone. And then, tingnan natin meron siyang pre-installed screen protector. Meron naman. Pa-focus natin siya. And then, this is the back part of camera. If you notice, may stripe na line siya dito. Kamaya tanggal natin yung NTC sticker tapos i-focus natin. Then, fingerprint sensor nasa likod din. Actually, mas prefer ko yung fingerprint sensor sa likod kesa sa sides. Kasi usually, yun nga, paglabas ko ng phone ko sa pocket ko, may dala ako isang gamit, mahirap na i-lipat ko pa ganito then sa side or pag sa kabilang kamay ang gagawin. So, mas simple pag nasa likod siya. And then we have camera here, sa likod. And set up ko muna yung phone and I'll be back. So this is the phone already set up. And again, this is color laser blue. So, so nakikita nyo diagonal. Diagonal stripe dito. Medyo rough siya this part. Pero hindi siya matakaw sa fingerprint. So ito soft part, ito rough part. Yan. And then, narinig nyo. Yan. And, again, hindi siya matakaw sa fingerprint. Ang problem lang is madulas sa kamay itong phone pag dry yung kamay mo. So, dulas siya ngayon. Nabitawan. Wala kasing free jelly case. So, hawakan yung maigi. So, ito yung phone. Medyo colorful siya. And it has 6.5 inches mini drop full screen. 
with LPS LCD type and up to 570 nits sunlight mode. Don't worry guys, it's not the end of the world. Pag tinignan natin to sa YouTube, maganda naman yung quality niya, colorful din siya, and okay naman sa atin. And this is run by Android 10 Realme UI 1.0. And the chipset with the gaming processor of Helio G85. So yun pala ang brain ng phone natin para sa gaming performance. Yung power bottle and the volume control of the phone is on the right side. And on the bottom of the phone, andun yung headphone jack. Good, which is good. Microphone. USB Type-C port. And the loudspeaker. And of course, on the left side is the SIM card tray. You can place two SIM card and one memory card which is expandable up to 256GB. And on the top of the phone, there's nothing. Wala siya. Ito. To unlock the phone, there is a fingerprint sensor at the back. Ito yun. So, lock muna natin phone and unlock natin. Okay? Game. Unlock. Lock natin ulit and unlock. Medyo okay yung response, no? And of course, another unlock niya is the face recognition. So, try natin. Yung unlock na agad. Again. Ito. So, satisfied ako sa unlocking ng phone, which is from the rear, and the facial recognition. For the camera, guys, since wala siya jelly case, tingnan natin. Very small naman yung camera bump niya. Very tiny lang. Ito. And, don't be fooled, guys. It has only two camera ito. Two cameras. Yung isa design lang. And then ito is the LED light. Or the flash. LED light. Okay ha guys. Pampa design lang yung itong square. Pero dual cam talaga siya. The logo of Narzo. Which I like. So para pag nagta-text ka or nag-ano ka. Kita ng tao you're using Narzo. For the camera, we have 30 megapixel dual camera. So the main camera is 30 megapixel and 2 megapixel black and white. For the front camera, we have 8 megapixel. The back camera can zoom up to 4 times for video and for the pictures. For video recording, it can record 1080 at 30 fps. This is for the front and back camera. As I've said earlier, basic lang yung camera, not so bad, not so good also. Okay siya pag magta-take ka ng video and pictures on daytime or in very bright place. Pero pag zinoom mo yung pictures, yung finished product, medyo uh, kita na kaagad na yung quality niya is hindi masyado maganda. Pero pag nag-zoom out naman, okay naman siya. For Instagram posting and Facebook posting, okay na siya. As for video, okay din siya sa daylight. Now, for the front camera, uh, yung portrait mode niya, yung beauty, ano niya, masyadong, uh, masyadong beauty effect niya. Okay, mukhang bata ako sa front camera. 
As for the rear camera portrait, okay din naman siya. Now for the low light, medyo nahihirapan na o nagsasacrifice yung camera. Mas lalo na sa rear camera pag magtatake ka ng pictures or videos sa low light. Kahit na meron tayong konting source of light. Ah, nag-try ako kanina. Merong light sa likod ko, tapos nag-take ako ng video. Very grainy talaga siya and very noisy siya. Sa front camera, medyo okay siya. Medyo may light siya, pero very noisy din and grainy. So don't expect na maganda ang quality ng camera sa low light. But overall, the quality of the camera is just basic. And for the battery guys, it has 6,000 mAh battery capacity. And with reverse charging. That's why it is heavy. 205 grams siya itong phone. Medyo mabigat siya. This is with 18 watts quick charge. So this is very good 6,000 mAh battery life. So buong araw magagamit mo itong phone without fully draining this battery. And now for the games. Alam nyo guys, yung HFR quality niya sa Mobile Legends, ang ganda. And yung graphic quality niya is up to high only. Noong nilaro ko siya, yung brightness niya, medyo nasa full na or almost full brightness na siya. Para ma-appreciate mo yung quality ng Mobile legend na game. Ang ganda niya. And hindi siya nagahang or nagalag or nagpe-fame drop. So okay siya. Eh nag-try pa ako ng ibang games, nakakatuwa naman tong phone kasi very responsive siya. Mas lalo na pag nagpipindot ka ng mabilis, wala siyang delay. Very fast reaction ng phone pag nagpipindot ka ng mabilis while playing games. So enjoy ako playing with the games of this phone with the quality and of course, up to now hindi siya nag -ha. I played Call of Duty, yung Mario Go Kart, and then yung Marvel games, and of course the Mobile Legends. Lahat sila hindi pa nagahang or nagdalag. And wala akong complaints when playing games on this phone. For the loudspeaker guys, uh, kahit one speaker lang siya, nasa ilalim siya, clear yung quality ng sound siya and loud. Additional features ng phone, meron siyang screen recording, of course, meron na siyang dark mode, pero wala siyang NFC, and meron siyang FM radio, which is good. And other features pala for the camera, it has time lapse, slow motion, Google Lens, Expert, and Pano. For the price of 6,490 pesos, this is a gaming phone for me. Again, thank you for watching guys, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. See you again guys. Bye! Thank you.